Let's take a look at another reaction that involves carbenes. But this time we're going to use chloroform to form our carbene. So chloroform has a formula uh, CHCl3. And we treat that with a alkene. Okay. Let's treat it. Uh, Let's treat it with a cyclohexene. Okay. What are we going to get? Well, we first have to add some light because we want to make the carbene. Okay. We can add light or heat. Okay. And what's going to happen is we're going to form a three-membered ring, okay? a cyclopropane. But what's different with this reaction is we're going to have still attached are the two chlorine atoms right here. Okay? Now, in order to get this to work properly, we are going to have to add some base make this a bit basic for this reaction to work, okay? So there we go, that, that's the conditions. We have chloroform, an alkene, base, and heat. And when we do that, we can form this three-membered ring. So how do we do this? Pretty cool here. We have a proton transfer. A very simple proton transfer, and if I expand out chloroform, we'll see that a little bit better. Okay. So let's draw out this. So there's our chloroform right there, and we have base present, so let's draw that out. So that's going to be negatively charged. And so that's going to come in, grab one of those lone pairs, grab that proton, and put the two electrons onto that carbon. And what are we going to generate? We're going to have a carbon here with three chlorines and a lone pair. We haven't, that it's neutral there, hasn't, is that neutral? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, no, nope, that's going to be negatively charged. Still has this octet. And what we also generated what? Some water. Okay. And so there's our proton transfer. Now we're going, the next step that we're going to do is a heterolysis. And that is where one of the chlorines, okay, carbon chlorine bonds, is going to break and fall off. Chlorine's a relatively good leaving group. And so we are going to generate this species right here. Uh, how do I want to uh, draw this here? I'll draw it like, oh, move that chlorine right here. There's our lone pair. Okay. And there is our carbene. And we can call this chlor carbene right here a dichloro. Chlorocarbene. There's a dichlorocarbene. And now we will do our next step right here, which is a electrophilic addition. And that's going to react with what? Our double bond. So I'm going to just rotate this molecule over here so we can take a better look at this. And it's the same mechanism here as before. We're going to take the lone pair here. It's going to come and attack. And then the pi electrons are going to come and attack like so. And then that is going to generate to our product right there. So I like looking at mechanisms because look at these the steps, proton transfer, heterolysis, electrophilic addition. They're pretty basic uh, elementary steps, 
but the overall transformation is this cyclohexene right here all the way to the three-member green. Isn't that pretty slick? So, oh, so. A little side note to this reaction is you can, instead of using uh, chloroform, you could use a compound ca called tribromomethane. Meth that should be an N. Methane. Okay. And that would have a, a chemical formula like this. Do you see how it uh, resembles chloroform? It's just now we've replaced those three chlorines with bromine. And so you can do the same reaction, follow the same mechanism, just with tribromomethane, and then the difference would be you would have your bromines right there. But the same mechanism would, would apply.